Hey guys, David Franklin here, state coordinator for the National Day of Prayer with Tim Barton. Tim, welcome to George. I know Thank you're from you. Texas, but listen, doing a conference up here. Y'all got incredible history stuff. I want one great prayer story from American history. Okay, so one of my favorites, uh, September 6, 1774 is the first time that as, as a nation we ever had congressmen come together. And when they got together, they actually said, you know, we, we really ought to have God's help. We ought to pray or this might not work. And then they started debating, well, who's actually going to pray because they had so many different denominations. And, and, and so they voted to actually bring in a, a minister who was local in town. He came in to lead them in prayer. And, and what's interesting is the prayer didn't just be a, a basic, like, well, God bless our time together, amen. It wasn't a basic kind of prayer. It actually lasted for two hours. Two hours. The records of Congress show it lasted for two hours. Happened September 7th. And this was one of the first opening acts of, of the nation as, as Congress. They recognized without God's help, we're not going to survive. Well, obviously we survived. We became a pretty significant nation. But it was built on this notion that we knew we needed God's help. And so they opened with prayer. 1774. 1774. That's before 1776 or anything. Guys, let us not forget. Wait. Was there a passage that they used that day? There were several. So Psalm 35 is the one that, that most founding fathers talked about okay. because they felt like that this is when we've already had some oppression from the British and they said, we feel like we're being unjustly attacked. Psalm 35 is what David wrote where Saul was persecuting yeah. him. He yeah. said, God, defend me. I've done nothing wrong. And so they said Psalm 35 spoke to us as if God himself was speaking to us that morning. So they prayed and they read the Bible for two hours. They're spending time with God to start our nation. Guys, let us not forget our history, and let's be about praying scripture. We're praying this for Georgia. When we really are seriously trying to pray for God to reign and rule over the state of Georgia. Listen, thank you for what you do. God bless you. Watch for another video of some great prayer story here in Georgia or the nation, current, historical. It's awesome. Thanks for your help.